when I'm creating, I am not really uh, aware what I'm going to do. I just go blindly, not even thinking. And I keep smashing and carving the way, mixing the plastic, putting more on. If I don't like something, I smash it. My name is Ante Davro. I'm a mad sculptor with a great passion and the need to uh, create something. And I started doing that, I suppose, when I was a little boy. I started working on little figures. And there was a stone called mulika, which is a very soft material with a knife. You can carve it. And I keep carving that. It's a great passion. And I think without a passion, if you do it, even scratching your nose, if you're not passionate enough, you know, forget it. You know, that's just useless. So my first exhibition was the 10th of August, 1968. And then uh, the people there, there was quite successful exhibition. And then um, as a result of that, uh, they offered me work at the art school. And I remember a chap coming to me, uh, his name was Tom Glecon. He was the head of the school. He said, you're terrific. You'll come to my school and teach at school. The vocabulary was pretty limited. And I said, Tom, I don't speak, it doesn't matter, don't speak the language, doesn't matter. They'll teach you English, you teach them sculpture. And my first lesson, looking for my class, I bump into my future wife. Somebody suggested that I should uh, apply for Churchill Fellowship. I did apply, but then to apply, you have to get answers from all these places you're going to go. And my first one was Princeton. So in Princeton, I learned quite a bit, you know, sort of quite sophisticated uh, technique, reinforcing the molds, uh, the waxing, the lot. And then from Princeton to Berlin, from Berlin to London, and from London, I took uh, a month off and went to Croatia. Of course, I have to do that. Just to be a member of Churchill, uh, it's an honor. And I think it's a God sent gift to lots of people and probably started a career. The, the doors were opening for me, you know, this sort of be, being much easier to negotiate around. And I personally think there might be a big Navy memorial that occurred a couple of years later. I was a, as a result of uh, when they assess you, and they said, oh, he's a Churchill fellow, he must be worth something. I don't like being told what to do because I definitely will, wouldn't not, I wouldn't be able to do it. If you leave me alone, if you tell me the story and leave me alone, then I can bubble and uh, do it. A craft is different than art, so there's a predictability. You know exactly the beginning and the end. But with me, I never know what I'm ending up with. If I'm working on the form, that form or that part informs me to the next, to the next, to the next. So it becomes a symphony of forms. I think it's a terrific organization and what they give to people, different professions, and they encourage everyone, everything. That's it, that's probably all expressed in my work. And there's that defiance, there's that passion, there's that love, there's a anything, but you have to have a passion and a touch of madness, I suppose. Mm -hmm.